I was challenged to create an altered zipper tag. So if you would like to see me tackle that challenge, just keep on watching. <laughs> Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. I recently received an email from Tammy in Tennessee challenging me to create an altered zipper tag. <laughs> Tammy included photos of some that she has created and oh my goodness, just look at these beauties. My gosh, Tammy, I just love these so much and I would have never come up with that idea, I think. Tammy also sells these kind of tags and other junk journal items in her Etsy shop called Lou Fru Fru. And I will link that for you down in the description box. So I really feel the pressure <laughs> and I don't know if I'm able to create anything as stunning as the ones from Tammy, but I will definitely give it my best shot because I just love the look of these zipper tags. What a, what a fabulous idea. So when I received this email, I did not have a single zipper at home. So I had to go out and look for one. So I went on a crafty shopping spree with my friend Farin. <laughs> and uh, I was able to find this by coincidence in one of my local shops. And I was super happy because this actually is a metal zipper and I just love the look of this one. It has very much like a Tim Holtz vibe, I believe. <laughs> so I have no clue how to go about this. I have picked out three items which I think I want to include. So one is just a scrap of some 12 by 12 cardstock. I think this will make a good width for this tag and I need to figure out what height it needs to be. And then I chose this photo, which is from my shop and I will link this below. It's a page with, with uh, a few photos. And I really love this one because I think he looks like he's courting her and actually he looks like he's maybe about to propose to her. <laughs> And it's like we caught him in this private moment. And I thought this would make a really cute picture for inside the zipper. Like we're peeking into this private moment of their lives. I just love that idea. We can have this partially closed. And then we'd see them, you know, just this part peeking out from under the zipper. Like he's looking at her so intensely. He's so in love and she's looking at the camera like she realized that we caught her. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. And then I have this piece of beautiful wallpaper that I have been gifted quite a while ago, probably like two years ago. And it's very nice because it has this wonderful texture. And I just sprayed some coffee on it and dried it with my heat gun quickly because I think this is what I will use on the outside of the tag to cover up this outside but I really have no idea yet how I'm gonna attach this or anything. If you look more closely at Tammy's tags in a lot of them she has the, pa the paper that she has on the edge of the zipper curled up which I really love so I want to try to do that. I don't know how well that's going to work with this wallpaper, but I wanted to give it a try, which is why I wanted to dye the back and not have it just plain white. So how to tackle this? <laughs> I think the first thing I need to do is figure out the size that the tag needs to be. I mean, I kind of like it like this, where the zipper is partially closed, but then I don't know how to do the paper because that is then going to, of course, have a fold or something here to accommodate this change. Unless we just ignore that. Actually, we could just glue it on like this. That would work. I'm gonna cut, I think, these parts off here, which are, are on top of these two zipper stoppers. 
Okay, so that worked out quite well. I cut horribly. It's okay because now I can kind of fray it and make it look like... What's the word I'm looking for? Not grungy, but you know, kind of torn, aged, used. <laughs> All right, and now for the size of the tag. Maybe first I will cut it down right till the edge of the zipper. And I might have to adjust that. Okay, now if we open this and put them like this. If we cut the corners off, like in a traditional tag shape, we want these to line up with those corners. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Or maybe we can just then change the angle of this as well, because I don't like the angle here. So I wanna, how do I do this? <laughs> Let me just do this. And do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, and now you see these two edges are kind of hanging over the tag, which I don't want. So I'll just change the angle here. Yes, that is good. Now I'll fray them again a little bit. That's better. So then we can put this in the background. So that will go up all the way till the edge. So I guess I can glue this onto this already. And then I can just cut these off. And now for this part, I'm so unsure about <laughs> how to do this. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to just kind of fray this edge, maybe tear it a little bit, but that's the thing. It's hard to tear when you have these, this twine going through it. I can actually only just cut it a bit. Then maybe curl it, make it look all ragged. Here it's torn anyway, that's awesome. Maybe even add a little bit more vintage photo to that. Actually, I wouldn't have needed to coffee dye it, I could have just done this. Anyway. So, and then I will put some three-in-one glue here. I don't know if this is how Tammy does it. I'm sure she has a better way. Oh, this just happens to be exactly the same height. I'm just realizing that was not planned. <laughs> so, like this. I like it. This looks pretty cool. And then I need to cut off a piece and do the same thing on this side. So again, let's just cut it in a few places and curl it up a bit. Add some more Distress Ink and we'll glue it on this side. If we put it like this, we'll open it a little bit more. We could just glue this on and then we can cut off all the excess. So maybe I will just draw a line so that I know where the zipper ends. So that I know where I can put the glue. cut off all of this excess.
Then we can ink up the edges. Now I feel like we need to bring in a bit of the romance for this tag because at the moment it just it's very plain and it doesn't look very romantic besides this cute picture. So I thought one thing I could do was I have here an image of a German wedding telegram. So a, a telegram to congratulate someone for their wedding. And I thought that works really well with these here so after they got married they got a wedding telegram and now through the telegram we know their names so she is called elise and he is called dita <laughs> dita is a very very german name so i printed this at 30 uh, percent i will link this down below for you as well in case you need a german wedding telegram <laughs> I definitely want to vintage this one up a little bit. And this will be folded as well. I'll just ink up the front and the back side. And I also have an envelope for this to go in. So I have these and these are printed at 50% and I thought we could use one of these and put the wedding telegram inside. So I want to use maybe this one. This is a white one. And these always have a front and a back side. So if you want, you can glue them together to actually form a complete envelope. And these are scans of real vintage envelopes. And I just added the flaps digitally so that you could put them together like real envelopes. So I just need to fold in the flaps. I don't think I've ever printed them this tiny. <laughs> but they are cute. You could also, of course, make your own envelope very easily by just folding a piece of paper. And then you, you just don't have the address and the stamp on it. But you could add that yourself as well. Now I could just glue this back side onto the flaps. Okay, so we have a little envelope. <laughs> and of course, we can rough that up a little bit as well. I can just take the scissors and especially there on the top part where it would usually where it would usually be opened with a letter opener. I think that needs to be roughed up a bit to look more authentic. And then of course, we're going to vintage this up as well. And now we can fold up our telegram and add it to the letter. Ha, perfect fit, wow. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> okay, so we have one element. I love this. Maybe we should even put it in like this so that you can see it's a telegram peeking out. Love that. Then I think we should add some, maybe some flowers, some wedding type flowers. So what I have here is either these or I also have these. So maybe something will fit. I don't want the yellow. I want something white because we're talking about wedding. I don't know if this is too big. Might be too big. Try these. What if we even added some metal gears to this? Because <laughs> I, I don't know, I was thinking of steampunk. I don't know why. But somehow, because of the color of the zipper, I think, and this is just the perfect match. No, oh, maybe not this one. I don't know. 
yeah i know there's no relevance to the marriage or to the wedding but somehow i just love the idea There's something about the combination of flowers and metal gears. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, what about some butterflies? I think I only want white butterflies or sepia butterflies. I believe these might be from the Digital Collage Club. These are my own, but I don't want anything as bright as this. No, I don't. I want these. This will be really fun to glue together. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Or is that too much? Maybe I need a smaller one there. Maybe I have something in my little ephemera book. I just want a tiny white one or maybe a green one if I can't find a white one. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. So this could go up here. I could maybe even add another one. Definitely need to ink those up. Okay, I also want to add a ribbon up here. I think that will add a lot. But maybe first I should glue everything down. I'm dreading it. I'm kind of like procrastinating <laughs> the gluing part. All right, let's just go for it. I need to glue it. <laughs> I have my heat gun next to me, all fired up. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm just not good with my glue gun. <laughs> and the problem is I can't glue top down. I need to glue bottom up. Where do we start? Where do we start? Um, I guess I'll start with this one. Can I do it without burning my fingers again? Let's see. It makes me nervous when it smokes. <laughs> ah, and the metal is getting hot. I think I need a glue gun course. <laughs> There's got to be a better method than what I am doing. I think Tina needs to teach that course. Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda. I always mention her with the glue gun because she's such, an, she's such a pro. And I'm so fascinated. I decided you don't have to watch me struggle. So I did the rest off camera. So everything is stuck down now. And I'm glad I did this off camera because I actually managed to burn myself. Look, this is going to be a blister. <laughs> Good job, good job. Guys, please be careful with your glue guns. <laughs> I hope you're more talented than I am. So for our topper here, I thought rather than making a round hole, I will make one of these slots with my slot punch. I will try to link one of these for you. I think they are phenomenal. I think they're meant for like badges, but I think they are super cool for tags. So let me just ink around that a bit. And then we need a ribbon to go in there. So let me grab my ribbon box. Let's see what would work. We could do either something that is a similar pink to this or like an off-white. Don't think I want to do lace. I have this. It's, it's kind of a different pink. What about this one? This is totally different. So is this. So is this. <laughs> this is a very similar pink, but this is too thin. If this was thicker, it would be really nice. Okay, I guess I don't have anything pink that fits. What a shame. Do I have anything off-white? I have this butterfly one. I'm not sure about that one. This one would be cute if it was wider. Oh no, I don't have anything. I have this one. 
Maybe I could do that one. Or this one, but this is very wide. Well, maybe I can make that work. These are just some strips of cheesecloth that I have stamped. Nothing fancy about them. I also have this very fluffy Avril yarn. So maybe we could combine the two. So we could just thread this one through the slot. Like this, and then we could cut it off and we could tie this around it. How about that? Let's try that before I cut it. <laughs> Man, my thumb is really starting to hurt. <gasps> okay, what do we think? Is it too fuzzy? Might be too fuzzy, huh? I love fuzzy, but this might be too much because it's too close to their heads. I'm thinking, but I have something else that might work better. I also have this one, which is just a bit more subtle. This might be better. Yeah, I think this is better for this. So let's cut this off. Let's fray the edges. I feel like I want to add a sentiment to this. So I went through the Tim Holtz quote chips. I will link those for you in the description box below. And I think either of these two would work. So be true or heart and soul. Both of them are too long. <laughs> and I don't think I want to add them like this. I think that's just kind of strange. No, I don't like that. So I think the only thing would be to cut them up. And I think I prefer the heart and soul. So I'm going to try just to cut this with my big scissors. Hope for the best. Yes, perfect. So heart, either like this or we take the end off. No, I think I will leave it like this and I will ink it up, of course. <laughs> Let me glue it, hopefully not burn myself again. <laughs> Is there anyone out there who has as much problems with their heat gun as me? <laughs> or is it just me? But I mean, for things like this, they are just fabulous because none of my other glues, I think, would do such a good job. There's two more things I want to do to this tag so one is i want to add a little bit of shading with my charcoal pencils this is a faber castell one in hard let's give that one a try i just want to go for example around this envelope and then around these two Then I'll go over it with my water brush. Don't know if that really makes a difference on the wallpaper. It's kind of like fabric. Yeah, I guess it works a little. Can't really, um, what's the word, fan it out a lot. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it definitely does add some dimension. I kind of made a mess now, but... <laughs> Do you see the shading here and here? A little bit, I guess. I could make it a little, oops, a little stronger. It doesn't show up as well on camera. And then maybe even here a bit. And here. And under the butterflies. It's the details that matter that just add to the overall look. I don't know, can you see it a little bit? Yeah, I guess 
a little bit down. And the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to add some white splatters. So I have my gesso here. It doesn't have to be gesso, it could be white acrylic paint, of course. This is way too much. Now let me cover the faces because I don't want any splatters on their faces. Just want to put a paper underneath. Okay, let's try this. Yep, I think that added a lot. That made a huge difference now. I'm wondering if I should add some black ones as well. That would also be cool. Okay, let's do some black ones as well. <laughs> Instead of getting out my black watercolor, I could just try it with this. I've never done that. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some black watercolor. I decided to get some black acrylic paint instead. Cleaned my brush. their faces again just gonna take a baby wipe and try to clean some of that off from the heart and soul because I do whoops I want to be able to still read that oh no oh no oh no oh, okay I thought I just ruined it of course now I also took away my distressed ink <laughs> Right. <laughs> yep, I like the added black spots as well. Since this tag is very, very dimensional, you can see here, <laughs> it is really super dimensional. It is probably too thick to go into a journal, but it would probably make a great cover for a journal. So let's see what that would look like. So this is a standard size TN insert. And this would be like the perfect size for that. You could put something else on the background. So that would be a really cool cover. Or if we want something more substantial, I have this one here, which I bought, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half years ago from my friend Allison. I will link her Instagram below. I'm, I'm assuming that she still sells journals. And I think this one might look really good on here. Maybe with something else in the background sticking out from behind. Do I have anything here to kind of show you? I have this one. This is Tim Holtz. How cool is this card? I'm, I'm hoarding this. I, I just can't bring myself to use this yet. And it would be a shame to kind of stick it behind something like this. But just so you get an idea, actually, this would make a really cool cover. Actually, I really like that. <laughs> wow, that is great. Or let's try something else. So these are all Tim Holtz. These are from the, let me show you. I kept this Urban Layers, 65 pieces. I've shown this in a few videos. These are just so much fun. And there's a few big pieces. So maybe this one, this one looks really good. How brilliant is this? I love it. Maybe we can combine it. There's something else. What is this? Army training school certificate. Maybe he needs to go to the army. Let's not send him off into a war. I actually really like this one. In a way, it's a waste because I'm covering half of it. But the part that's showing through is just fabulous. Then if I add something else, of course, that's completely going to cover it. We just need to vintage them up a bit. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to do that now, but I could. So you see, there's, there's things you could do with these kind of tags. 
Tammy, thank you so much for the inspiration and for this challenge. This was super fun. I tried something completely new. I don't think this will be the last zipper tag that I'm going to make because they're just super fun. Thank you for accompanying me on this fun challenge. I hope you are inspired to try a zipper tag yourself. Hope to see you back here in the next video. Thank you guys. Love you. Mwah. Mwah.